Hello, welcome to another creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover how to animate a breathing character like Sil, like what you're seeing on screen with the creature animation tool. Now, breathing, as you know, is a very subtle motion. It might be quite difficult in other keyframe based animation tools, but you will see that with the power of creatures procedural motor system animating breathing, like what you're seeing on screen over here with all the subtleties, the secondary motion, the chest, you know, contracting and expanding, that is actually extremely easy in Creature. And you can actually get a breathing motion like this done in, if you're experienced in actually about 10 minutes or less. So without further ado, if you're interested, keep watching this tutorial and I'll jump right into it. Before we get into the animation, let's take a look at the mesh and rig itself. Here are the various body parts of the character. As you can see, you separate it out into different components. You assemble it in Creature. Uh, if you're not familiar with the entire rigging pipeline, please watch the previous or introductory creature tutorials on how to assemble your character in Creature. But more crucially, what we're going to talk about today is the rig itself. Now, the rig is very important because it will determine the degrees of freedom and the you know how the joints actually rotate on the character. And that will actually also determine the range of motions, in particular the range of breathing motions your character can can execute. So you have to first decide what your rig is going to be and what kinds of motions you want the breathing character to have, construct that and then you know run the motor system on top top of it to actually get the compelling animation or, or effect motion that you want. Now for breathing in particular what is important is first of all obviously you want to construct the base character skeleton, right? So as you can see here, I have the standard spine, the root, and then I have, you know, the, the bones coming down for the legs. These are the basic parts, components of the skeleton. Again, if you're not familiar with the rigging process in Creature, I would encourage you to watch the introductory tutorials on how to do that. But basically, you want to construct the skeleton, the, the character skeleton with the, the standard legs and hands, for the character and the spine, of course. Okay, so those are the basics. But for breathing, you also want to construct what I typically do. This is a trick. You just construct a chain of bones, anim animating out, st stretching out, or, or coming out from the, the the spine bone, right? So you have all these these chain of bones coming out like this, right? These chains of bones, and I will also have a chain of bones coming out from the head or neck bone as well. And what this allows you to do, if we actually go into the test mode, there you go. If we go to test mode, you will see I can actually, you know, move or deform the mesh points around. And this is very important because just by contracting and expanding, you know, just moving these 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 bones around, they will allow us to allow us to actually simulate a contracting and expanding effect of the chest, the chest muscles, right? the lungs and all that to simulate breathing. And that's what we, we want. So that's what I encourage you to do as well. Now, of course, in this character, I've also added, you know, a couple of and chain bones to the head. You know, this, this, char this character is wearing a hat. So you can also, as usual, deform the, the hat to give it a more interesting secondary motion. You'll see in a moment why. Okay, and this is basically the character rig and we're going to jump into animation next. Now onto the task of actually animating the character. Now for breathing, you know, the first obvious motion that you think of is the, the character is having some kind of subtle up and down motion. Very subtle, right? Because it's caused by the expansion and contraction of the muscles uh, along the spine, the, the chest and all that off the body. So one of the things you can employ in Creature is the move bounce motor. And I, I'm going to install a move bounce motor on the central spine of the character, like so. Of course, by default, if you install it, it's going to bounce around because that's what it is, a move bounce motor. The, the parameters, default parameters are hilarious and I wouldn't recommend them to, you, to use those. But very simple, turn them off. So amplitude Y, we can set that to zero. So now it bounces, you know, so up and down. And then we can we can take down the amp X as well to say 0 0.1. So now it bounces with less amplitude. Now, of course, we want to reduce the speed. So we take it down to one as well. Okay, 
So that's probably the speed we want for a, a breathing motion. Obviously, we're not done, right? This whole character is moving about completely, and that's not what we want. We actually want the, um, the, the legs to actually lock in place. Although, as you can see from this case right now, there's already some, already some kind of subtle deformation on the belly area. That's pretty cool, right? That's just what you get for free from Creature's uh, advanced deformation and skinning system. Okay, but let's lock the the legs into place. Now, the first thing you want to do is you actually want to basically install IK. I recommend you install IK on the legs. There's many IK motors. You can use smooth IK. I typically use that if it's just two bones um, or more. Or you can use the, the more powerful IK motor for multiple bones. Although smooth IK will give you a much smoother result for n number of bones, but it, it does it through some approximation. So it's your choice. Uh, for beginners, I recommend Smooth IK just because it's easier to control. So I'm going to install a Smooth IK motor, and then I'm going to tweak the valid angles to negative because that's how the legs would bend. Yeah. Okay. So here, here we have it. We just, you know, say pin it here, for example. Now I'm going to do the same for this guy. Oops, sorry. This guy as well. There you go. I'm going to install a Smooth IK, and I also I think in the art, I, I'm not sure if the limb should bend it this way. I actually want to fix the bending of the limbs because um, when a character is facing forwards, the limbs should really bend in the opposite direction. You'll see in a moment what I mean, but it's easy to fix because you just install Smooth IK, get the angles right, and that's actually how limbs should bend. Yeah. Okay, so let's run the animation again. Let's see what happens. Right. Let's much better yeah because now we've actually have ik on the legs however there's a bit of foot sliding at the end of the, the legs the two shoes are sort of sliding on the ground it's, it's kind of subtle it's kind of subtle but ideally you shouldn't have the character slide the foot so what do we do we want to actually lock the feet in place now right now the feet are using the fk motor or forward kinematics your standard keyframe motor keyframe animation motor, you know, for, from any traditional animation software. The issue with uh, uh, forward kinematics in this case is it's actually following the transformation of the parent, right? So whenever, for example, whenever I move this, you can see this end, the, the end foot of the bone is actually following, you know, translated with the parent, but you don't want that, right? You, what you actually want is you actually want the, the end shoe to lock into place. And there is actually a motor for that. It's called the free FK motor. So if you install that, and then if I just move into place, now this motor can move in free space, in world space, essentially. It is not following or you know constrained by the transformation of its parent. So I'm going to install a free FK as well on the other foot bone over here. Now watch what happens when I run it. See, now it's actually pinned, yeah? Now they're actually pinned. If I, if I in fact, if I turn on the bones, you can see that the two end shoe bones are pinned exactly on the ground, but we also have the feet executing IK, so you actually get this realistic uh, leg bending motion, right? And that's what we want for a subtle breathing motion. Now that's just step one, okay? There's a lot more to go, but we're actually getting there. You can see we're almost at the, you know, like almost like a, some kind of semblance of breathing motion. Now maybe in other animation software, you might be happy with it, but we're not because we're using Creature, which is a lot more powerful than other animation software. So let's use more procedural motors to actually bring this character to life. Okay, next, what do we do here? So we have this guy with a move bounce. Why don't we install also a move bounce on the head or neck bone as well? So I'm going to install a move bounce. And of course, it's going to look ridiculous. It's hilarious. Don't worry. Let's turn off all the all the motions. Okay, this is really funny as well. And then we take the amplitude down, just like what we did for the previous bone. Okay, that's still really funny. He looks like he's um, very active, hyperactive. <laughs> so we take the speed down to one, matching the speed we had before. Yeah. Okay, right. And there you have it. It's still a bit strange because the reason is because both of them are moving in phase, yeah? Both of these bones, these bone motors, these move balance motors are moving in, in phase. What we want is make them out of phase so that it gives a more interesting motion, 
right? So what I can do is I can change the phase of the the base poof bounce and see what we get. So now you get more of like a a follow through motion, right? And I think the amplitude on the head is still a bit too much. So let me take it down to 0 0.05. Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So you can see the phases are different. So this guy has a phase of zero, and this guy has a phase of 0 0.5. So they're slightly out of sync, out of phase. So you can you get that delayed action of breathing. Yeah. You can feel free to, again, feel free to tweak whatever phase you want, experiment with it. That's the whole point of the motors. It's really, really easy to actually iterate on things. You have you get really fast iteration times by using the the procedural motor system. And I think maybe we want to take the amplitude of the bass boom down, but just a notch as well, because it's just moving vertically a bit too much. Okay. So that's you know that's at least more compelling. Now, if you think the top head bone is still a bit too much, we can still take the motion down, maybe two, three, five. Again, this is at this point, it's just tweaking. But you can see in the procedural motor system, you no longer have to keyframe every frame and then retime and all that. By tweaking just a bunch of parameters and attributes, you get there immediately. And of course, remember, for each motor, you can also keyframe every single physics or, 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 or you know, procedural parameter. So you get the full power you get the full power of keyframe animation as well, if you want to do that. And when you're happy with it, you can always convert everything back to keyframe FK. So you can animate with the procedural system and then convert it back to traditional keyframes just to tweak it the last, you know, tweak the last 90, 99, 1%, uh, sorry, to get it exactly just right. So you get the best of both worlds. Okay, so we have now actually kind of a, something resembling a breathing motion already. But again, we're not done, yeah? <laughs> this is Creature, remember? So we can do much cooler stuff than that. Now we're going to install rotate cycle motors on these, these guys over here, yeah? So I want rotate cycle motors to get more of a chest breathing, relax, muscle relax action. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to install a rotate cycle motor. If I run it, it's going to look ridiculous because it's rotating by too much. The angle, angle, angle delta is huge. So I'm gonna take it down to five, and say negative five, and let's see what we get. Yeah? Okay, that's that's a lot more interesting now. I'm gonna do the same for maybe say this guy, this guy over here. I'm gonna install the rotate cycle as well. And take the end angles down and run the run the animation. Let's see what we get. So you can see the problem here is it doesn't look right. So this guy is moving at some angle <clears throat> in some direction, and this guy is moving in the same direction, but we actually wanted to move with opposite speed, right? Because you're breathing, yeah? So you're breathing, you should be moving in the opposite direction, so you you're actually have this, this upwardly, upwardly muscle, muscle expansion contraction motion. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually select back this motor and then we just negate the speed to negative one simple that's what you can do in creature now there you go that's more like it that's exactly sort of like what we want right now we actually get look at this you actually get this chest contraction and uh, expansion effect which i think is is pretty cool actually yeah i think it's pretty cool okay so we have that so why don't we also install a rotate cycle motor here as well and we are obviously going to take the angles down right same trick we did before there you go and we come here again same thing you 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 get the idea once you have once you get the the gist of it it's super simple right and of course we want to no negate this guy's speed as well so okay so now we actually have this chest expansion ex expansion and contracting effect. All right, that's kind of cool. But as usual, it's kind of boring when things are all in sync. Yeah. So we want to make them out of sync just to give it more of a follow through motion. Again, super simple. Come over to phase, set whatever phase you want, experiment, experiment with it. All right, that's what I encourage you to do. You know, like it's, it goes from values from zero to two. And okay, so now you can see, right, if I turn off the bones, it's probably more obvious. Now you can see, look at that. 
it's more like a follow through. You actually see these the flesh and muscles almost like it feels like it's contracting. Yeah, but we can actually turn it up to eleven. The issue right now, if I turn on the bones, is it's we can we can still make it more realistic. The issue is the end. We made this chain of bones. Yeah, and the chain of bones they're actually just actually just moving rigidly with the parent bone, the parent rotate cycle. Not too interesting. We want more variation. Let's loosen it up a bit. So we come here. Let's install a bend physics. Yeah. And what this does is it installs physics on the the bones to sort of make it more wavy. It just responds it responds in a very natural way with with you know bend bending and torsion motion. So with this I don't care about gravity, so I'm going to set the gravity to 0. Yeah. And let's play it. Yeah, so you get more of a more of a more of a, like a follow through motion, and I can increase the damping to twenty to damp out the motion even more. So I over damp it, and now you can see. Look at that, the bones are more of like a, look at that. It's it's very subtle, but breathing is all about subtlety, right? So look, the end bones are are having a more of like a follow through motion compared to the base motion. Let's do the same for this 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 part as well. Yeah. And as usual, turn off the gravity and then over damp it, set the damping to 20. And let's see what we get. Right, look at this. So now, now you actually get more variation. And we're going to do the same, same pattern, same pattern as well on the top, on the top. Let's also install a, a bend physics. There you go. <laughs> Missed it by just that much. Set the gravity to zero and maybe damping to 20. Same deal here. Come here, install bend physics, damping to 20, and gravity to zero. Okay, now that's what we're talking about. And if we play it, look at that. Now you actually get this chest. Now this is a bit exaggerated, but I'm doing it for purposes of the demo. When we, when we switch back to the example animation I showed you, I did dial it down a bit, but I do want to dial up the, the effect for you to, sh to show you what you can do. Look at how organic it looks, yeah? Look how organic it looks. Now you can obviously make things stiffer. You don't, it doesn't have to be this loose. Right? This is just parameter, parameter tweaking at this point. You can dial the, the stiffness up to 90, and now you can see you have a stiffer, stiffer look, right? So again, at this point, it's just parameter tweaking to make sure the character looks exactly like what you expect. And as you can see, we've, we've actually hit some pretty subtle and very complex motions in a very short amount of time, just with just by installing a combination of move bounce, rotate cycle, and bend physics on the skeleton. That's really all there is to making a breathing motion. Now, back to the arms. The arms are a bit too static now, right? The problem is, so issue with creature allows you to do a very, very realistic and I think very amazing uh, secondary motion and subtle motions. But when you add that to just one part of the character, the rest of it looks very rigid and dead. So the obvious, uh, obvious solution is to also loosen it out a bit. So why don't we come here and let's install a rotate cycle. And of course, let's take the, the angles down because it's a bit too, too ridiculous. Right. Okay, so if you think that's too much, let's take it out to 1 and negative 1. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so now we have the, the, the character holding the X and the arms are slightly moving, but we can loosen, loosen it up even more by installing, again, a bend physics at the ends. Yeah, turning off, turning off gravity and, uh, oh yes, increasing the damping to 20, so we over damp it. There you go. So now we've loosened up. Look at that. We've loosened up the character. The arm actually looks like it's doing something. Yeah, it's actually holding a, a, a very heavy X pole weapon. Yeah, it, it looks believable now. And we can just add just a bit of subtlety again to the other arm as well. Let's just install a bend physics because why not? It's free. It's super simple to add secondary motion in creature. Add a bit more damping and. There you go. Just a bit, just a bit more subtle motion. So, there you have it. It's I think it's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, we can also we can also actually now add secondary motion to the hat, right? So we can also add again a rotate cycle with a very subtle angle variation. Just you know, just a bit. And if you think that's not enough, let's accentuate it again. This is for the purposes of this of of this tutorial, right? Look at that, and then same trick. 
apply bend physics at the end, turn off the gravity, yeah, and if you, if you want, you can obviously over damp it just to give it more follow through, just more, you know, more twist. If you, again, if you want more, uh, more of a hat motion, let's see what we get. Okay, there you go. And let's play the animation. So look at that. We actually accomplished a, 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 I think, a rather very cool and complex breathing motion just by using the creature, creature procedural motor system. Now, to recap, well, this is what we did. We had the free FK motors to pin the legs, the, the, the shoe, sorry, to the ground. And then we had IK to actually construct the the you know the the targeting the 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 leg the legs for for both legs we use a smooth ik for both legs and we use free fk to pin the end points the the sh the, the the shoes for the character now the rest of the the rest of the the breathing motion is simply constructed using the very powerful move bounds motors right so to give you an up and down motion and then we use rotate cycle motors um, for for the bone chains just coming out now in general for for secondary motion, you can literally just use a rotate cycle at the base bone, and then for the rest of the tip bones, just install bend physics. This is a, the typical trick. So we used it in multiple places. Used it for the chest, the various chest bones over here. Yeah, for these guys, it was basically a rotate cycle followed by a chain of bend physics, rotate cycle, bend physics. We used it for the hat as well, a rotate cycle followed by bend physics. And we used it for the arm as well, rotate cycle, Bend physics. Now I don't need to repeat myself anymore. You get the idea. And if you do that, you get this, right? You actually get a subtle breathing motion. And I don't think this tutorial took that a lot amount of time. Compare that with any other animation tool. You're going to spend a lot more time just trying to get the look with creature. You can get this look very fast. And once you're happy with it, you can click convert to FK. If you can, if you want to tweak everything, you can convert everything back into FK animation. Now this, and then you, basically, you can see that every single bone, every single procedural bone, has now been been converted into. Let me show you, into, yeah, exactly, into traditional, you know, keyframe animation, and it has your typical animation splines as well you get the full animation splines through the entire timeline if you want to tweak it if you want to tweak it you know like a traditional animator which you should if you want to polish up your animation so let's switch back to the breathing sample the the one that was shown and this is basically how it looks like yeah this was actually after a bit more tweaking just dialing down some parameters again it's completely up to you what you want but there you go that's how you construct a breathing character with the powerful creature procedural motor system. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy animating and thanks for watching.